Hey, it's Miko. I'm going to test drive today the new 2018 BMW i3s. Um, this is the like the facelift and the first new variation, the sport model of the i3. Uh, quickly from the outside, really the only big difference is that these things kind of like flares out, make the car look a little bit more aggressive. And 20 inch wheels are standard, of course, it's 19 standards on the regular model. Let's go inside, it's a little windy. So So it's been a few years since this model came out. I did a few videos for 2014 i3. The car is still virtually the same. Um, inside, you know, they added the moonroof is now available. They have this new Deca world, so the car looks uh, just nicer base trim. But uh, I wanted to drive this car specifically because that's the first S model, sport model, and um, and this is, um, you know, just want to see what it drives like because nobody ever complained that the regular i3 did not have enough power. Uh, that instant torque was always plenty. It's always easy to accelerate, easy to drive in the freeway. So this car supposedly has more horsepower, more numbers on everything, faster zero to 60. First time they actually have the sport mode. Uh, the uh, thinking was on i3s that, you know, it's a, efficient model so there was no M package no sport package there was no sport mode it was the regular comfort echo and echo plus it's the first time they have the sport and um, I just want to see what, what you're actually getting this is the first time I'm actually taking this on the freeway I only drove it for a few blocks it's raining a little bit so it's gonna be interesting supposedly it has better traction control so we'll go to sport mode right away dynamic setting what else do we have yeah, we don't have Sport Plus, just Sport, Economy, and I mean, Comfort, and Echo Pro. All right, let's go. All right, so this is full throttle. And this is 60 miles an hour. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard for me to say. It, it feels fast. But they all feel fast. Well, it kind of feels more like right now I'm going 50, and if, when I punch it, you feel that it kicks much better. Uh, handles really well. And uh, trying to see if I can open it up a little bit more. I'm only going to drive on the freeway back and forth because that's what I want to see. Okay, so this is good. This is. So you get that instant torque kick, but then it kind of dies out. So I guess you still don't have more than 200 horsepower. Even though it's hard for me, like these numbers don't really translate. I, I don't think they translate well to electric cars. Like, you know, power and torque. There's a big difference when the torque is 200 pounds of torque, but it's instant at zero RPM versus 300 pounds of torque, but you have to get to like 5,000 RPM. So, it's actually great. We're in real rain. The car is super solid. I'm going 80. It feels a little bit different. It doesn't slow down as much as regular A3. Uh, what else? Uh, top speed is 99 miles an hour. I'm not going to go 99 miles an hour. Let's see. So we're going to turn around, drive a little bit more on the freeway, and get just a little freeway view. Uh, they all handle great, um, even though they look like, like a cow. Uh, they handle really well because the batteries are really low. They're in the, in the floor, so center of gravity is really low. That's why it's allowed for me to sit higher, have better visibility. Like some people complain, there's no blind spot detection. You don't really have a blind spot in this car because it's so open. All right. So, I want to try something. Turning radio has always been, always been insane on these cars. And I'm going to the side street. I'm going to try to do an actual 0 to 60. This is like a street. Nobody lives here. People only park here. Somebody's double parked. So I'm going to wait that out. Okay. So, full stop. Sport mode, it's gonna dry here. 
and I think I have enough. All right, let's go. One, two, three. 36, 40. Okay, 60. All right, so when you're watching, you can figure out how much it was zero to 60, actually. Um, I don't think anybody needs faster than this in an electric car. And we're gonna turn around again. Another U-turn. We'll get back to the freeway one more time. Another thing that I can say since these cars came out, since my old videos in 2014, is that we are getting a lot of them back as lease returns. We sell them as certified pre-owned. They feel like new. You take a three-year-old car, you drive it, it feels exactly the same. There's really, you don't feel any wear and tear in these cars. Sometimes like a three series, let's say, you get back as a lease return. Some of them are fine. Some of them feel, you know, you know they start, they develop noises, they don't sound that well. Uh, so they, you can feel the age of these cars in some of them, not on these cars. They drive the same, they're still quiet. Um, maintenance issues, there's really just like recalls. Recalls every now and then, software upgrades. I don't hear a lot from my customers about any issues. So again, we're doing nice acceleration. Okay, that's a little crazy, but kind of shows you what you can do. in a second but overall yeah I, I see the point it's not much more expensive it looks a little better but looks that's another thing everybody complains about looks I cannot accept the looks yeah it looks it doesn't look like a BMW it doesn't look like a real car it looks kind of ugly but I appreciate the fact that this car was designed uh, with just form follows function it's been it was designed around the powertrain powertrains on the floor the engine or motor is in the back right above the rear wheel so you have great traction and that's that's what you see i mean i'm driving in the rain i'm very aggressive with it right now and um, the car handles great so bottom line yeah it's a modern version of the i3 if you wanted to like if you were thinking you would get like an m sport package of an i3 that's pretty much it and i gotta put an m on it i think but um there you go, get a sport version, the car is fun. I almost got one myself last year, just timing wise, uh, there was a recall, they were not available for sale. I ended up getting a three series hybrid. But um, I think it's a commuter car, if you have two car family, this car is great. Thanks for watching.